Four and Thirty-Eight Days, an extraordinary true story of Let's Seeley by Jonathan, by Jonathan Franklin, is a harrowing true account of the survival of a fisherman named Salvador Alvarenga, who was lost at sea for more than a year. It is a story of human endurance, resilience, and the will to survive against incredible odds. The story begins on November 17, 2012, when Salvador Alvarenga, an experienced fisherman from El Salvador, and his young crewmate, Ezequiel Cordoba, set out from the coast of Mexico for a two-day trip to catch sharks. They sailed on a small 25-foot boat named the Camaronera, not anticipating that a powerful storm would soon bearing down on them and throw them off course. After the storm hit, their motor died, and with it, their ability to steer the boat. The small craft was swept out to sea, drifting helplessly. Adrift in the vast Pacific with no motor and no means of contacting anyone for help, the men were left at the mercy of the ocean currents. Without a functioning GPS, they could not establish their position or determine the direction they were headed. For sustenance, they initially survived on the fish and birds they caught by hand, as well as drinking rainwater. But as days turned into weeks, their situation grew dire. They faced brutal exposure to the elements, including punishing sun, storms, and even encounters with aggressive marine life like sharks. The psychological toll was just as extreme as the physical. Isolation, the uncertainty of rescue, and the unending expanse of water strained their mental health. They wrestled with despair, delirium, and the temptation to surrender to their grim circumstances. Eventually, the extreme conditions led to the tragic death of Alvarenga's companion, Cordoba, after around four months adrift, leaving Alvarenga to face the ordeal alone. Despite the death of his friend and crewmate, Alvarenga's will to live never faltered. To maintain his sanity, he established daily routines, which included talking to himself, praying, and dreaming of his favorite foods and the loved ones he hoped to see again. He used his survival instincts and fishing knowledge to catch food, and he improvised ways to collect drinking water. His diet expanded to whatever the sea offered, including fish, jellyfish, and seabirds. He even learned to capture rainwater using washed-up garbage like plastic bottles. The narrative also covers Alvarenga's past, his life in El Salvador, his move to Mexico, where he lived and worked for years before the fateful fishing trip, and his relationship with the sea. This background illustrates a man who had always been comfortable and familiar with the ocean, which proved to be a crucial factor for his survival. One central theme of the book is the incredible capability of the human body and spirit to adapt to extreme conditions. Alvarenga's body withstood the dramatic weight loss, the threat of scurvy, and the physical toll of exposure to the harsh marine environment. His resourcefulness was paramount to keeping himself alive as he crafted makeshift insulating clothing from the remnants within the boat and learned how to catch fish without a line and bait through keen observation and trial and error. After more than a year of drifting, on January 30, 2014, Alvarenga's tiny boat washed ashore on a remote island in the Marshall Islands, over 6,000 miles from where he had started. Emaciated, bearded, and weak, he was discovered by a couple residing on the island and subsequently cared for by the local community, who were astounded by his tale of survival. The news of Salvador Alvarenga's survival made headlines around the world. His story was met with a mix of awe and skepticism, with some questioning the veracity of his claims. Medical and survival experts weighed in, and after careful investigation, they validated his account. Alvarenga's physical condition upon arrival, the ocean currents in the Pacific, and his detailed description of events corroborated the extraordinary journey he described. Alvarenga's re-entry into society was complicated. He faced not only the physical challenges of recovery, but also the psychological repercussions. The media frenzy, legal squabbles over the rights to his story, and a lawsuit from Cordoba's family, alleging Alvarenga had cannibalized his deceased companion, a claim Alvarenga vehemently denied, put additional strain on him. Nevertheless, 438 days is ultimately an unparalleled testament to the remarkable resilience and endurance of Alvarenga. It also serves as an inspiring reminder of how the human spirit can triumph over seemingly insurmountable adversity. Jonathan Franklin's meticulous research, including interviews with Alvarenga 
as well as with the medical and oceanic experts who legitimized his story, gives depth and credibility to this account of survival. Franklin provides the reader with a gripping narrative that keeps one enthralled from the first page to the last, painting a vivid picture of a man who defied the odds and lived to tell the tale of his 438 days lost at sea. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.